Of course, the fight to end racism and injustice is ongoing. Amarissa Cummings recently spent some time with local black men and women who were raised during the civil rights movement in this country, and she shares the message they want everyone to hear. Before we can move forward, it's important to look at how far we've come and where we are now. Sylvia Tryon Oliver is currently the president of the Black Chamber of Commerce in Corpus Christi. And being a Corpus Christi native, she says she remembers a time when the city was segregated. Right here on Leopard Street were the uh, movie theaters. They would allow us to go in, but we had to go to the balcony. And in that balcony, you can find every insect or uh, animal or whatever that was up there. You know, so we either, we had a choice to either go or not go. And although Oliver says racism doesn't exist so blatantly here anymore, that doesn't mean it's gone. By comparison to some of the larger metropolitan areas, uh, we have it good, you know. But racism is racism no matter what, whether you have a population of 100 or 100,000 or, or a million, it's still the same thing. It's hurtful. Tina Butler is the president of the Texas Association of Black Personnel in Higher Education in Corpus Christi. She says nowadays, outside of police brutality and explicit injustice, on a daily basis, racism can manifest itself in ways like this. I personally have encountered it, um, you know, in going to um, different businesses and, and being followed, you know, versus the person that was actually probably stealing that didn't look like me. So how's it going to change? Getting representation on the city council, getting representation on the school boards, getting representation on the Port Authority. Uh, we have no representation. Uh, and that makes it a little difficult for, us, uh, for our voices to be heard. Adam Carrington is the pastor of Brooks AME Worship Center, the only church in the Hillcrest neighborhood, a predominantly black community in Corpus Christi. He says it's also important for people to just talk more with others who don't look like them. There are people who will never know what racism feels like because they don't walk in my skin or my shoes. They will never, ever understand it. And the best way we can try to get people to understand is that if we sit down and have a conversation. Marissa Cummings, 3 News.